Hey, hey, Cub fans. Thanks for joining us here on Cubs 24-7, where Randy talks Cubs. And we're going to talk about uh, the international free agent signing of Fernando Cruz. And um, I got some information I think that uh, we'll find interesting about him. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's talk about the rest of the pack. The uh, On January 15th, we signed 13 total uh, free agents in the International Free Agent Signing Day, um, uh, including Fernando Cruz. We had we we uh, signed four shortstops, one second baseman, one third baseman, one catcher, three outfielders, and three right-handed pitchers. So the shortstops are Juan Monzo, Ezekiel Pena, Isaac Moscote, and then Fernando Cruz. Second baseman was Iniel Rosario. Third baseman, Edgardo De Leon. Outfielders, Robin Ortiz, Jesus Rodriguez, and Cesar Lugo. Right-handed pitcher, Fraylin Alejo. Right-hand pitcher, Julian Duran. Right-hand pitcher, Yonder Maria. And the lone catcher, Diego Gonzalez. So, of that group, Fernando Cruz is the headliner uh, for obvious reasons. So let's just let me walk you through what I know, what I can tell you. Uh, Fernando Cruz, 17 years old, well, the number four overall prospect in the international prospect list. Cubs signed him for a four million dollar signing bonus. Uh, Fernando was on the Puerto Rican. Uh, national team that played in the 2023 World Baseball Classic. He's 5'11", 155 pounds. He's from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic. And side note, he is former Cub Starlin Castro's cousin. So he's a 17-year-old uh, player with what they describe as highly advanced baseball instincts. He has a tremendous uh, amount of back control because of his strong hands and his forearms that allows him to spray the ball all over the field. In fact, they say that he hits the ball to right field like a, a left-handed hitter would. They describe his stance uh, as being comfortable. He has an easy load uh, and creates tremendous bat speed. Defensively, he's alert, uh, has a very quick first step, and a plus arm. The long-term, I guess, prognosis for him is to hold down shortstop in Wrigley for a long term. I, you know, that that I don't know how often these signings happen, but when you sign a 17-year-old four million dollars, and you're projecting him to hold down shortstop. Uh, for the long term, that's very interesting. So, 17 years old, we just signed him on the 15th. Now, here's what we can look for. Um, if we're trying to project kind of where they're going to start him, if we see him uh, in Mesa this spring at the at minor league camp, what that probably means is they're going to go ahead and start him uh, in rookie ball. If we don't see him in Mesa, that Probably the plan is to let him stay and play in the Dominican Summer League uh, this first summer. And uh, right now, we're, I, you know, I'm not really sure. I, I have varying uh, opinions on that. But people expect him to to pop into our top 20 uh, prospect list, uh, but by late summer. So he, he it's just going to be fun. Fernando Cruz. Um, We'll see what happens, but that's what we'll look for. First step, is he going to be in Mesa? If not, he's probably going to start in the Dominican Summer League. Uh, if he is, they're probably, they'll start him at, at rookie ball in, in Arizona. So uh, at least we have kind of an idea what to look, look forward to. Uh, and this crop of prospects, uh, a lot of really good pieces. But for now, we'll just kind of pay attention to Fernando Cruz, see, see what happens with him. So just wanted to give you that quick update on Fernando Cruz. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Go Cubs, go.